Hello, welcome to the Healthy Alternatives podcast. I am Dr. Christine Sauer with DocChristine.com. Today's show is a recording of my radio show of the same name. Enjoy! Good afternoon, this is Dr. Christine Sauer, your host of the show Healthy Alternatives here on 97.5 CIOE FM with live stream on communityradio.ca every Thursday at 12 noon Atlantic Standard Time. Thanks for tuning in today. In this show, I will talk mostly with guests about all aspects of health, healthcare and wellness from conventional to alternative and everything in between. For those who don't know me, I'm the owner of DocChristine.com and a German-trained conventional as well as naturopathic physician as well as an expert health planner. I'm asked very often to give some information about nutritional supplements for different causes, which ones are good to take and what the benefits and dangers are. So I decided to start a series of structured shows like this one, going deeper into health topics. Today, my fellow health coach, Jennifer Google and I will be talking about supplements for brain and memory. And I'm very excited to have Jennifer on the show today. Thanks for coming, Jennifer. It's always a pleasure to chat with you and makes it so much more fun to talk to somebody who knows what they're saying. Oh, no problem. I love coming. It's, it is. It's always fun. <laughs> yeah. And as always, I want to start with a word of caution. Although nutritional supplements are usually safe, there are exceptions. This show is meant as educational only, not as health advice for individuals. Please go to your physician, pharmacist, or other licensed healthcare provider for this advice. Mm-hmm, exactly. So today, supplements for memory and brain health. No, why one. do we really need that? What causes us nowadays that many seniors especially, but even younger people, start to complaining Oh, I have brain fog. Oh, gosh. Mm. For sure. You... What else is going on? They have memory loss. They can't remember. Definitely. They Definitely. have problems with attention, mm-hmm. with uh, remembering things. And now I can't remember what I wanted to say. So <laughs> it's universal. It's going around. <laughs> I had um, uh, an aunt that was diagnosed with um, Alzheimer's, and yeah. she was still in, in her 50s. Yeah. And she had this slow, um, slow onset. So oh my gosh, she was, she must have had it for oh, a good 20 years. She was in her 70s when she died. So that's a terrible experience. Exactly. <laughs> Seems to be um, a little bit uh, common in my father's family. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it now that I'm in my 40s. What can I do? And there's many things we can mm-hmm. do. And as you know, I don't accept the concept that it is a, we have degenerative diseases of aging. Right. Because I always say, when we look back in history years ago, yes, the average life, life expectancy was younger. But once you survived the dangerous children's year and the infectious diseases mm-hmm. that killed people in these days... You could expect to age quite healthily That's until right. you were old. That's you were right. revered as an elder, as exactly. a wise person, exactly. yep. as somebody to go to for advice. And usually they could look after themselves. Mm-hmm. They were 90 years old and there's still a few of them yep. that yep. could look after themselves, look after the house and the field and split their own wood for firewood. Right. And there it's were no not nursing homes. No. Um, yeah, yes, so there were older people that had cancer or other diseases. Yes, but yes, it was not sure. as common. No. So what's changed? Well, I have my own theories. <laughs> <laughs> well, the food, and for one thing, for the sure. The food has changed processed. in a big, big way. Yep. It's not only been more processed, but it's also less nutrient dense. That's right. Many people do not get the necessary nutrients for a healthy life. And there have been over 80,000 toxins added to our food chain. Wow! Now, single toxins uh, have been there forever. Mm -hmm. They're one of the some of the strongest toxins we know are either plant based or animal based and natural. But our body is able to deal with a certain amount of toxins. 
but it can be overwhelmed. That's right. And many of those substances that have been tested, and most haven't, mm -hmm. have been tested by themselves. Right. And yes, a small amount of this may be safe, but what if you take toxin A, B, C, D, E, F, and exactly. G together? Exactly. All those 80,000. <laughs> You probably won't get them all twice. together. Exactly. And it is so neglectful, I think, that there have been no real studies about the harmlessness, for example, of genetically modified foods. That's right. When they were introduced, it was just introduced. Mm -hmm. Yep, and exactly. there's a lot going on, and we can't even breathe clean air anymore. We can't even drink clean water exactly. anymore. Yeah, it's right. just not existent. That's right. There's and just I think so that much. really influences our ability to age. And yes, there's things we can do about mm -hmm. it. And For sure. it's so important. And we all knew that. Um, something I wanted to ask you probiotics are. Um, you know, so good for so many things. Typically, when you think or when I think about probiotics, I think about gut health. Yeah. But there are also known to be really good for for brain health and and memory. Like how how does that work? It is really interesting that our gut has the most amount of bacteria, several pounds of them and many, many individual cells. And they produce actually about 90% of our serotonin okay. and other neurotransmitters okay. that we need to function. And if our gut flora is disturbed, it just won't work well. Mm -hmm. And I always like to look at the history. People used to eat more fiber, vegetable, right. fruit that are known to nourish your uh, gut bacteria, prebiotics. Mm -hmm. They didn't eat... Pickles like we now do with yeah, vinegar, they right. used lacto-fermented okay. vegetables to conserve them over right. the winter and put mm -hmm. them in cold storage. Yeah. And they are known to be high in good bacteria. Okay. Okay. So even if their gut got confused, then mm -hmm. they often got reseeded. Nowadays, we sometimes need to take pills, but not all pills are made the same as we know. Right, for And sure. I think in our time, we really have to start at the beginning. Okay. And it's important to eat, at least most of the time, generally in a healthy way. Yes. So what do you think Definitely. is a healthy way of eating? And I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, as much um, vegetables... Fruits that, you know, organic if possible, um, lean meats, um, and healthy grains, not um, your regular white flour. That's important. And, and fermented uh, vegetables, of course. Fermented vegetables, mm -hmm. if you can do it, there's kimchi available, there's That's raw right. sauerkraut. sauerkraut. Uh -huh. And it gets destroyed by cooking, so right. eat at least some of it raw. Yep. Yeah, for and sure. that's important. And I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Vegetables, fruit, as colorful as you can. That's right. And there's actually the Environmental Working Group in uh, that mm -hmm. has a very nice list out there, the Dirty Dozen and the Clean, Clean 15, 15. Exactly. That they update the every new year. One, it just came out, actually. Yeah. And sure. that's the reason that many people don't eat right is because, for one, they're not sure what they should eat, or they can't afford, for example, the best meats, which is grass-fed right. meat or That's pastured right. pork or pastured chicken, mm -hmm. which tends to be more expensive. Definitely. And that's why I wrote my little book, Eating for Vibrant Health and right. Explosive Energy, to give them a guide what is acceptable mm -hmm. besides the best. Yeah, yeah. And what really to avoid. And I find, too, that many people don't eat the right fats, That's or they right. eat not well, enough fats. they eat a lot fat. of saturated um, a lot of convenience foods, really fast yes. foods. Yes, and, and really saturated fat by itself is not the enemy. No, not if it's the right kind. <laughs> yeah, and some fats that are touted as healthy, mm -hmm. like vegetable oils, right. actually can be so highly processed. That's true. That They're, yeah, they are really more harmful. They do more harm than good. Well, there's a lot. Um, I hear a lot about olive oil and how... Um, 
uh, they they some there was a study where they looked at a bunch of different ones just uh, off the grocery store, and when they tested them, they were canola. Yeah. So especially the scary. cheaper ones, yeah, are adulterated. That's and right. I would say you recognize a good olive oil. It's one, it's dark green. Mm -hmm. And second, when you taste it, it's a little spicy. Yeah. That's the yeah, polyphenols. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's... And try to get a credible source. I know it's hard I to know. get, but when you see an olive oil on sale for three ninety eight a liter, yeah. it's probably not <laughs> olive oil. No. <laughs> Definitely not. But I understand there's another thing. The the money plays a role. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And yeah. That's why I gave them little choices. And sometimes it's easier to eat organic coconut oil. You can get it at Costco for a reasonable That's right. price. You can. And eat. And it lasts a long time because yeah. it's a big jar. And yes, uh, hydrogenated fats or trans fats mm -hmm. are mostly non existent nowadays. Right. That's true. We've gotten a lot better at yeah. getting rid of those. Which is a big, big step in the right direction. Definitely. But what they don't tell you is that up to 0.5% you don't, or 0.5 grams, you don't have to put it on the package. You can still okay. call it free okay. of hydro uh, uh, no hydrogenated fats. Even though it's still and there. If they choose the portion size to mm -hmm. be small enough right which usually is so for example potato chips or mm -hmm. crackers right they choose two or three crackers who who stops at two or three crackers yeah exactly so when you eat more than that you get your trans fat dosage yeah and yeah makes sense it's just an illusion that shortening the regular shortening or hard margarine mm-hmm doesn't contain trans fats. It does. Of course it does, yeah. And even the softer margarines, when I look at the label, it says modified fats. Mm -hmm. Now, what is that? They modified it. What did they modify? Yeah, exactly. You... They don't tell you. Nobody tells you. Nobody knows. That's right. You so, just kind of take for granted. You see it on the label and you think, oh, well, that must be okay. Right. It says heart healthy. Yeah. Yeah, they can buy that uh, designation. That's Which right. You know, they can. That's right. Anybody can put anything on the label as long as it's not obviously deceptive. Right. People don't realize that. They think if they see, you know, that certain symbol that it's okay for people, you know, that have, whether it's like a heart condition or um, diabetes. Want to prevent a, a stroke. Or... It, yeah, exactly. That, you know, oh, the symbol's there. So that's, that's okay for me to eat. Not always the case. You are so right. Mm -hmm. You are so right. And we really have to read the ingredients. Exactly. And when there's something in it that you absolutely can't pronounce, that has modified That's in right. it or uh, something like it, it's always best to ask someone exactly. that knows. And even the dietitian in a store might be able to tell yeah, you something. Yeah, a lot of grocery stores yeah. have an in-house dietitian. Have dietitians and yep. they do free grocery store tours and That's most right. of the time they give you half decent information mm -hmm. they might not tell you that vegetable oils are really not good for you but <laughs> <laughs> it will come over time because i find the knowledge starts to change a little bit right and That's many right. people realize that really omega-3 fatty acids are lacking in our diet yep. and they need to eat either fish uh seafood or other sources of omega-3s exactly. which mostly is plant-based mm -hmm. uh, animal-based the plant-based uh, omega-3s are usually ALA that has to be transformed mm -hmm. in the body there's so much out there in studies knowledge no wonder everybody's confused well, exactly exactly and this really brings us to the end of the first half of today's broadcast here on 97.5 CIOE FM, Community Radio. Please tune in at the commercial break for more about brain health and memory with Jennifer and myself.
Hello and welcome back to Healthy Alternatives here on 97.5 CIOE FM or on the web at communityradio.ca. I'm your host, Dr. Christine Sauer, and today my fellow health coach, Jennifer Guga, and I are talking about supplements for brain health and memory. And in the first half, we talked a little bit about why it's important and why our brain gets bad and the, the general rules for healthy nutrition. That's right. So I'm happy to have you back, and it's important to eat your proteins, exactly. your fats, good carbs, and lots of vegetables Definitely. and fruits, like you said. Definitely. I mean, we can't expect, and I think a lot of people do expect, that they don't have a healthy diet, and they think, well, as long as I take my vitamins or supplements, um, you know, that, that'll that solve everything, but it, you know, it doesn't work that way. You, you've got to... You, you need to live a healthy lifestyle as well in order to uh, um, like reap the benefits. Benefit from yeah. everything, at least to some extent. Yes, yes. You and I mean, we, are, we live in a normal world. And right. I'm actually against perfectionism of any kind. Yes, that's, yeah, it just doesn't serve any Or extremism. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm absolutely against that. Extremism of any kind. Is, no, it's never is, a good no. idea. And um, it's better to respect what, other people's experiences is I, I really feel that definitely. way definitely mm. you can even use the um, 80 20 rule eat eat healthy 80 percent of the time and the other 20 is you know have fun that's right yeah. and it's important to enjoy definitely eating because we all have to eat and if you choose to eat something that is maybe not that good for you mm -hmm. at least enjoy it yeah <laughs> that's right <laughs> Because if you feel guilty while you eat it, you take yourself the satisfaction That's, away. Yeah, exactly. And then you beat yourself up and you feel worse. And what do you do? You eat some more. Eat more. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunately the way it works. I know. I did it myself for yeah. <laughs> years. Now, when we talk about supplement for mm -hmm. brain health, there's again, we need to start with the basics. That's if right. somebody wants to prevent memory loss or they feel they have brain fog, What's the first thing to start with after they adjusted their diet as much as possible? A um, a high quality multivitamin mm. is probably the best starting point. Um, should be a broad spectrum multivitamin, and um, and ideally it contains trace minerals. Right. It usually won't contain enough magnesium or calcium or other vitamins because you need higher amounts of those. Yes, that's true. But it should contain a little bit amount of trace minerals. Mm -hmm, and sure. there's supplements on the market that contain the RDA, they call it, okay. which is a recommended dietary allowance. Right. Those values are set with the avoidance of deficiencies, of okay. vitamin deficiencies okay. in mind, not with regaining your health or becoming healthy. So, so it has they're to set be, a little too low. They are usually okay. too low. Okay. And always that depends. It does. And as Definitely. we both always say, mm -hmm. if you choose to supplement, it has to be an orchestra. Right. If you just take one substance, it's like going to a concert listening to the first violinist and thinking that's the whole symphony. Exactly. It doesn't sound good. No, it's lacking everything else. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And many people do that. They go in the grocery store and say, oh my God, I'm so overwhelmed. Like they should be, really, because there's a lot of products on the shelves. Yes, and they all claim to help you with exactly. this or that and have flashy names like mood and memory. Oh, yeah, oh. definitely. There's... And you try it and it may work for a few days uh, because you believe in it mm -hmm. and then you stop it because it stops working or just forget taking the pills. And That's right. You don't have a clear plan what to do. That's right. And that's what we do all the that's time. We what, do the exactly. health plans for the people. That's why you need us. Yeah, yeah. And we do supplement yeah. plans too. It has to be. So um, make sure the orchestra individual. gives you a good symphony. That's right. <laughs> I love a symphony, a good one. Me or too. even a concert. <laughs> it can be folk music, East Coast music, country, whatever. <laughs> Not country for me. <laughs> okay. Soul rock, whatever you love. Just one. Uh, the, the bass guitar by itself won't do it. No, that's right. <laughs> but that's you need right. them. You do. 
So the next one, you have your multivitamin mm -hmm. mineral. What's the next so, step? What's important for people? You mentioned mineral. Yes. Um, so magnesium. So why do we need extra magnesium nowadays? Magnesium seems to be popping up a lot lately. There's a lot of, uh, lot of talk, a lot of things in the news, on Facebook, about magnesium deficiencies. Yeah. And um, basically, our soil is magnesium deficient. So the vegetables and, and fruits um, are not containing high amounts that they used to. That's right. So that's why we need to uh, to take a supplement. And on top of all, we don't eat enough green leafy greens. That's right, too. The greener something is, the more the, magnesium is in right. it. That's because right. it's in the chlorophyll. Like we have iron in our heme, mm -hmm. the blood, the plants have plant blood contains magnesium. Yeah, that's right. So if they're not green leaves, no magnesium in them. Mm -hmm. So what else? Say magnesium, and you have to choose the right uh, amount yes. to get your concert the right form, the right form because magnesium exactly. comes in different forms that mm -hmm. are cheaper, have different uh, functions. Yeah, that's right. Can be laxative or they can be good for brain health. So it's really important to know what you take. Exactly. So in this case, um, magnesium citrate or glycinate um, would be your best bet. Or even the threonate, which is just coming out okay. and it's supposed to cross the uh, brain blood barrier even better, but it's quite expensive. Right, right. So maybe hopefully in a few years. Glycinate is a, a good middle. The citrate often okay. works the laxative. Okay. So that's, that's very important to have the right dose. It has to be balanced with magnesium and mm -hmm. calcium. It has to be balanced with vitamin D and K2. So there's right, a lot of exactly. balances. So um, typically we recommend between two and 400 milligrams. Yeah, it really depends on the individual case. Oh, yes. So what's the next one we should take that's really important for brain health? Vitamin D3. Vitamin D is important, but I was thinking of the fish oils. Oh, that's right. That uh, How could I forget the uh, no, omega-3s? No, no, you didn't forget <laughs> it. You were coming to it. We just have a limited time that's today. Right. And I, I, I want to really push the importance of having your omega-3s mm -hmm. because so many people are lacking. Oh, my gosh. And you can sure. actually do a little blood test and uh, an omega-3-6 ratio. We do it for people. And it is now known the best predictor of early death okay. and of a healthy old life. And where would you get your omega-3s? Fish is the... Fish is the best source. Yeah. Uh, krill oil, fish oil. Mm -hmm. What kind of fish? Small cold water? Exactly. Um, Mackerel, herring, sardines, right. anchovies. Salmon, you have to be careful yeah, because that, the farmed salmon is so right. full of toxins. Exactly. That's what worries me a little bit now. That the higher a fish is on the food chain, right. the higher the toxin content yes, nowadays. Yes, because they're absorbing everything So they're everything small little eat. fish. If you like gaspro, mm -hmm. if you like uh, salmon gundi, that's really a good source. Okay. Okay. And it contains calcium too in Salomon Grundy because, <laughs> because the bones get uh, added leached. bonus, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's an important part. And krill oil also contains astaxanthin, which improves the absorption. Okay. And it's good for the eye health. So krill oil Perfect. is good too. A combination is the best in my books. Mm -hmm. Now there's vegetarian sources or vegan Eat sources. Plant. Yeah, for sure. Um, and those contain, interestingly, a precursor of what we really need for the brain, which is DHA. Right. And they mostly contain ALA, which is a precursor of our omega-3s. Okay. And the body has to change it over, mm -hmm. which works especially in younger people. Okay. The older we get, the slower that transformation gets. Right, exactly. So if you really want to do your brain health mm -hmm. good, eat lots of DHA, which is a fancy name, uh, when you spell the whole word. Right, exactly. Which I won't bore you now with. But on most fish oil products, it says EPA so mm -hmm. much and DHA yeah, so much. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the EPA. Okay. EPA is important too, mm -hmm. but not so much for brain health. The okay. brain needs DHA. And okay. our brain is 60% yes, fat. I was just about to say that. And lots of cholesterol. Right. We exactly. need cholesterol. We do. It's not always bad. No. They keep flip-flopping on the eggs. 
one minute it's it's good for you the next minute no there's too much cholesterol in eggs but no 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 yeah. eggs are good for you especially exactly. if they're from pasture chicken exactly exactly <laughs> the best now we talked a lot about the supplements that are really important mm -hmm. uh, the multivitamin the probiotics mm -hmm. we talked in the first half a little bit the vitamin d Uh, vitamin K, That's magnesium, right. calcium, mm -hmm. and the balance that it all has to be in. That's right. So it's best to have somebody make a decent individual supplement yes, plan. Yes, for sure. Now, some naturopaths do that. Mm -hmm. Some physicians will do that. Some pharmacists do that. We do it. We do. And uh, I really recommend that if you choose to have supplements or you have some brain problems and you need to have it addressed, mm -hmm. get some help with a good plan. Yes. Do it now. Yeah. Well, and there's many other options for brain health. Oh, there's that a ton That can of help in specific things. cases, mm -hmm. like taurine, we have heard of yes, it. Yes. Yes. The ingredient that's the, in yeah. Red Bull. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> There, there's been some controversy about that because people thought that Uh, it's found in bull's urine, so they thought, oh my gosh, there's bull urine, you know, I'm drinking. <laughs> it's originally discovered from a bull's gallbladder. Right. And that's where from the name the comes from, because yeah. Taurus in Latin means a steer. That's right. That's right. It's, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> it's hilarious, um, yeah. And so... Uh, I don't recommend drinking Red Bull by the main, um, no, but it has way other too much sources. other stuff in it as sugar yeah. and caffeine, yes. especially children shouldn't have oh caffeine my gosh, no. because it usually makes them just wired and can't yes, sleep. Yes, for sure. Um, but if you're looking for a good source of taurine, um, it's not found in a lot of foods. Um Seafood, especially shellfish uh -huh. and poultry, dark yep. meat, but typically um, the supplement is the best way to to go, just because it's yeah. you don't want to eat. If you feel it food. is part of your supplement plan, but that's right. Be because by itself, no supplement will do you any no, good. No, and I think that's important, and that brings me to the end of today's mm -hmm. show. And please don't hesitate to contact us with any questions, thoughts, comments, or suggestions. My email here is christine, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E, at communityradio.ca, or contact me through our website, drchristine.com. And I'm always grateful for feedback. I also want to extend a special thank you to today's producers, Jim Francis and Hannah. Thank you. You might not know this, but this is a volunteer-run, non-profit radio station, and we even have an art gallery. If you're local and you'd like to drop in, we are at 11 Glendale Avenue, Lower Sackville, Nova Scotia. Thank you all for listening to Healthy Alternatives. I'm your host, Dr. Christine Sauer. Tune in next Thursday at noon on 97.5 CIOE FM Community Radio with live stream on communityradio.ca for the next episode. Goodbye and have a great day.